Hey guys, it's Channel from Laser Gaming. In this video, I'm going to talk about Battlefield 5 Tides of War and how it could be really good or really bad. And while that does sound a bit extreme, it is kind of true with the elements they're going to be implementing into this and sort of the plan they have for turning tides throughout the year or years to come following Battlefield 5's release. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and drop a like on the video. I've got some awesome hiding resort gameplay of Battlefield 4 in the background. Um, I'm using the SV98 and the Shorty 12G for the majority of it. In the beginning, I think I was using the G18 as my secondary. Um, but Battlefield 4 is just so fun, sort of the combos you can run in your loadouts. Um, and I just absolutely love using the Shorty 12G as a secondary, even though it's a bit overpowered in the scenarios I was using it in. Uh, it's just really awesome, and I know that sniping in Battlefield 5 is pretty similar to sniping in Battlefield 4, uh, which just makes me pretty hyped for that game. Uh, now, Battlefield 5 Tides of War, this is the live service DLC system that's going to be implemented into the game. And it's going to be entirely free, at least for the gameplay elements of it. It's going to have some cosmetic items that you'll have to pay for, but the majority of it will be free. And the maps and stuff like that, the biggest part of the maps will be free, so will everyone will be able to play on the maps. There was an Ask Me Anything on Reddit a few days ago. It was when I was sort of in the middle of recovering from my wisdom teeth surgery, uh, so I wasn't able to make a video on it, but it is some still some pretty cool information that not too many people are reporting on, so I thought I'd just give you guys the information. So I'm going to put it up on screen, um, what one of the developers said, um, but I'll also read it out loud. Uh, Battlefield 5 will have multiple ways to earn and collect items, both gameplay based and cosmetic. Certain events during Tides of War will be exclusive for some period of time, some gameplay and cosmetic. So this means that similar to Fortnite there will be some items that you can only get for example during Season 4 and then once that season ends or in Tides of War once the event ends you won't be able to get those items anymore. I really do like this because it encourages people to play the game during that time period and it will encourage people to come back to the game constantly for every new event which I think will really keep the community alive a lot longer. We are working to make sure we balance the work and time players put in to earn rewards as well as not punish players who miss out on things. So I think that these sort of time things either have to be cool niche weapons um, or weapon skins, camos, and stuff like that. They can't really have weapons that are timed um, events because then those weapons might be overpowered or they'll be extremely underpowered where it doesn't matter if you unlock them at all. So I feel like sticking with cosmetic um, items or maybe just sort of niche cool weapons like for example the Calibri, no one's going to really care if people are running around using the Calibri and you can't unlock it anymore because it's just so underpowered. Um, and I know some people might get mad, some people think it's the best gun in the game, um, but that is my opinion that the Calibri is underpowered, and if they were to implement it as sort of a timed weapon in Battlefield 5, I wouldn't mind it. Our plan is to support Tides of War for as long as players are engaged and enjoying the game, but I don't have a hard cap date. So this is where the concern comes in. Our plan is to support Tides of War for as long as players are engaged and enjoying the game. So, for example, Battlefield Hardline had a premium system in the game. This guaranteed four DLCs into the game. Now, Battlefield Hardline's community died very quickly, except for a small niche community, many of them who are subscribed to my channel and uh, myself included in the game. We wouldn't have gotten the four DLCs in Battlefield Hardline had a Tides of War system been implemented. The support for the game just wouldn't have been there. So these are really the downsides of a system like Turning Tides, is that if the game is not supported, your DLC will be cut off and you will not have the game supported anymore. So this can mean Battlefield 5 could lose support after a year or even less if the game dies. And while even when games quote unquote die, there's still plenty of hardcore players that are still playing it and who would like content for the game. Now this is why it's sort of essential that Battlefield 5 maintains support and it maintains a strong player base. Um, if it doesn't have that, then the DLC for the game will die pretty quickly. This is why I personally did like the premium system is because it guaranteed DLC. While you had to pay for it, it guaranteed DLC. For example, in Fortnite, people say, oh, the game's free. It has free DLC. I've probably spent as much money on Fortnite as I did on Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1 Premium just because the items and the skins are so cool and you feel left out if you don't have any of them. 
I don't know. It's just sort of a different take on the DLC system, and I'm it. I'm happy that Dice is trying it out for one year, um, but I just hope that the game lasts long enough to get as much as we can out of it. Who knows? The game could last as long as Battlefield 4 did, and I hope it does. And that would mean we get like three years of support, which would be really awesome. And then he finally says, "I'm most excited." about creating a constantly changing experience that we can adapt to what our players most enjoy. I think this will be a great experience for the dev team and the players. So yeah, that's pretty much just what I want to talk about in this video, guys. I just want to talk about sort of uh, the direction um, the devs want to go with Tides of War and sort of what the concerns and benefits of it are. Uh, the main concern is that it could end short and we could have a lack of content in the game um, and it just won't be supported for that long. But the benefits are that it could last for three years and we have three years of constant DLC in the game as long as we continue to buy those skins and support the developers. Um, if you guys are new here, don't subscribe down below. I'm actually working on quite a few videos right now. Um, I was sort of working on editing a bunch of them while my mouth was too sore to do long commentaries. Um, but I should be back now guys and uh, just stay tuned to the channel boys. Subscribe if you are new here but that's what if this video guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.